All right, this video is for when you're done illustrating all of your characters. Once again, we're shooting for eight to 10, um, eight being the very minimum. If you're over 10, that's wonderful. Um, I actually had to go back and add a ninth because I originally had eight. So you won't see Yoshi in here, but you will see him in my final result. What we need to do first is we need to do a lot of layer management here on the right. Uh, and you'll be repeating this process for each character. So what you'll be doing um, is first actually we should duplicate your no never mind we should we'll go along with this what you're going to do is you're going to merge the line art of a character with the color of the character so what you want to do is click on the line of the character any character of your choice i'd start at the top and then hit the merge down button that will merge them together so now boom done we also want to delete the stock photo. We no longer need that. So if it won't let you delete it like it won't here, it's because the layer is locked. So unlock the layer, now delete the photo. So once again here, we're, we're with Marth. You want, well, we can hide Star Fox now. We're going to show both the line of Marth and the color of Marth, and it will not let us merge because we locked it, which is good. So go ahead and unlock both. Click on Marth, merge down. Same deal. We'll go to the stock photo unlock it, delete it. Uh, I'm going to actually go ahead and do all of these right now, but you can go ahead and skip ahead in the video a little bit if you uh, so choose. Uh, let me make sure. The layers should be shown too when they merge. That's another thing to make note of. Uh, you can hide them after you're done merging them. So I'm gonna show both Bowsers, unlock both Bowsers and then merge. I think that's probably the proper way to do this. If you make a mistake, you can always edit undo, not the end of the world. Uh, that one's good. Um, if you were living on the edge and not locking things, this would actually go faster, but I don't like that, it stresses me out. All right, only two more to go here. We got Link. Oh, no, no, no. Don't do merge all. God, that would be devastating. Um, and finally, Mario. That is unlocked. And Mario's stock photo can get deleted as well. All right, there we go. Got them all. Well, hi, Mario, now. Uh, so now that you should, you should literally just have one layer per character here. That's wonderful. Uh, what we want to do now is we either want to go, well, you want to go research and figure out what kind of shape that you want to put yours in. Um, I have chosen the actual Super Smash Bros. logo, and I'm going to import an image of that. Other options are squares, rectangles, diamonds, ovals, you name it. Uh, go to Google Images and just find a shape. It, it, it could be a logo of uh, whatever you're choosing to do. We're gonna import that set image with the mountain sign up the top. Go to your photos and you'll see right here, the one I'm gonna click on is the smash icon. I want to make this really big. Um, we're going to get rid of the background of your logo eventually but we're focusing on, for me anyway, the black part of the logo. I want to take a good chunk of the poster, just like that. Then hit done. Uh, that should have appeared on a new layer. It did. And right now, I actually want this layer to be the very bottom below your character. We are going to now just select just the black of the logo. If your logo is multiple colors, there's a couple different ways to go about it. Um, but hopefully you find a shape or logo that is a solid color. That will make this way easier. I'll individually explain the other possibilities for you if you cannot. So to select a solid color, if you go to the selection tool in the top, normally we've been using lasso. Uh, we're gonna go here to the third one, which is called magic wand. What this does, it will select whatever color that you click on. It'll select all of that color in that area. Leave the tolerance at 32, that should be fine. The other thing though I want you to click on is this plus one right here. Uh, if you click on it and it has either replace um, or remove selected, I want you to hit add because your logo might have multiple parts like mine does. And if it doesn't, it still won't matter. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on the top right of my logo right now, and you'll see the dotted lines that appear. I have to do this for all four sections because mine's broken up 
into four different sections. There we go. If yours is one solid shape, that should be a lot easier. Now that it's selected, I'm going to make a new layer by hitting the plus sign in the top right and get this off of the image entirely. I'm going to take the paint bucket tool, which literally just fills a mass thing. Make sure that you have solid fill selected on the left side. And I recommend that you start with black, solid black. I know the photo is already black, but you'll see why we have to do this separately right now. Um, you can actually hide the original photo here and you're just gonna go ahead and click in and it should fill the entire selection with the solid black. Um, if something happened, dial back in the video, make sure that you have everything set up correctly, make sure that you see the dotted lines and make sure that you click inside the dotted lines. All right, um, now that we have that done, we can click off the paint bucket and we can cancel our selection. Going back to the selection tool right here, you could either um, click off the tool entirely or you could always click uh, the far right button with the X that will deselect things as well. If you want to, you can go ahead and actually get rid of your original photograph now. You don't need that anymore. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit delete and just kind of clean that up. So here we have our Smash logo. Um, we've imported the shape, we've managed our layers. Uh, in the next video, you're going to learn how to kind of like shimmy your characters around and get a really, really good solid composition. But spend the time right now to get this shape uh, situated. All right, guys, take care.